This video will demonstrate how to create a basic Microsoft Fabric Power BI dataset that uses the new Direct Lake connector to the Fabric data lake. The data used in this video is 220 million rows of real open source data from CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, for Medicare Part D prescribers by provider and drug. The dataset will not cache any data and will be used to directly query the data lake storing the data in Delta Parquet format. For a quick introduction, my name is Greg Beaumont and I currently work in Microsoft's healthcare vertical as a technical specialist for data and AI. This video is also documenting the third step in a GitHub repo for an end-to-end -end Fabric Power BI Direct Lake demo using the CMS Medicare Part D data. To check out the entire Git solution, please follow the link in the description. First, let's look at the open data for CMS Medicare Part D prescribers by provider and drug. It's been loaded into the Fabric Lake House as a table using Delta Parquet format. You'll see that the data has a mix of text and numeric fields. The data types are associated with the columns for the table. From the Lake House, click New Power BI Dataset. Select the table and press Confirm. If Power BI is your technical safe space, this view should be a welcome sight. You're looking at a Power BI style dataset editing view in your browser. Here you can add metadata to the dataset such as DAX measures, display formatting, creating user-friendly column names, and more. First, change the column names to user-friendly names. A suggested list is on the Git repo that is linked in the video description. Underscores between words don't look good on reports and don't really work well with natural language queries. For example, brnd underscore name is better displayed as brand name with the space between the two words. Fast forwarding to once that renaming is completed, you can add calculated measures to the dataset. Calculated measures are business logic that will be used to dynamically calculate values for reporting purposes. I'll add brand name count, which is a count of unique brand names that get calculated based on filter criteria. So from the Git site, I will copy and paste brand name count equals distinct count of brand name. You can also specify the formatting options. For another example, we'll do total claims, which is a sum of the total claims. The DAX expression is total claims equals sum of the total claims column. You'll see in the Git repo that there are other DAX expressions that will divide other DAX expressions, and you can build in whatever expressions you want depending on your level of comfort with the language and what you'd like to see on the report. After using DAX to add calculated measures, you can also specify metadata settings for columns, including data category, which will help with visualizations. For example, the model can know that state is a geographical state so that when you drag that column onto a map, it'll understand how to map those values. Once you've entered this information, you can go back to the Fabric workspace and rename the dataset. As a quick demo, you can now build a report on the new dataset, which will run queries on the table in the Fabric Lakehouse.
Here in the view to build the Power BI report, you can literally start dragging in the content that you just created. which is generated from that 220 million rows of data sitting in the data lake. Again, all of this happens without any caching and the Power BI dataset is running queries directly against the Delta Parquet file sitting in the lake house. The next video linked in the description below will walk you through a few of the ways you can build reports and connect to this dataset. Again, the Git repo with instructions and related links is linked in the description below.